In today's Know Before You Grow, we're gonna be evaluating the Rooks Organics Lush Potting Soil. Follow along as we rank and evaluate this soil. Let's go ahead and dive right in and look at the price. The price per cubic foot of this soil that we paid was $27.92, and that gives it a score of four to put on our scorecard. So Chris, let's now just dive in to look at the overall quality of this, um, going through that consumer experience. Yeah, so as a consumer, first thing we do, open the bag. Uh, typically, we're gonna smell something uh, from these bag soils. On this one, I actually scored it as an eight for smell. Um, yeah, no, just a real uh, nice, deep, earthy smell, a little bit of uh, peat smell on this one. Uh, what'd you score this one at? I actually had this scored um, as an eight as well. I just thought it had a good soil smell to it. Uh, more of a native soil smell than a bag soil smell, which is, uh, which is my preference. And that really piggybacks on the look and feel of this soil as well. Um, I found it to be pretty uniform in texture, a little finer textured, uh, good distribution of, of perlite. Um, I really liked the look and feel of this one and had it scored um, at an eight. And I would just add that this is all, um, all organic inputs. There are beneficial microbes added to this soil. It does contain humic uh, as, well as, um, as well as organic fertilizer inputs. And we'll see the results of that here in a second. But overall look and feel I had as an eight, Chris. Where were you? Uh, I scored it as an eight as well. Yeah, no, I really liked it. Um, the texture was good. Um, I like the feel of it, the, the density of the soil. Um, yeah, so I scored it at an eight. Great, so we agreed on smell at an eight, we agreed on look and feel at an eight, so that's easy in the scorecard. The next thing we can look at are the nutrient levels uh, that were found in uh, this lush soil. Yeah, so as you guys know, we run the my soil test on all our bag soils prior to growing out the plants. Um, I scored this on nutrient levels as an eight and a half. Um, all our macronutrients were at or above the optimal range. Again, we were low on micronutrients, which we see across most all of our bag soils. Um, and then for pH, we were right in the optimal range. So really good nutrient levels on this one. Um, some micronutrient additions would be beneficial, but overall pretty good score on nutrient levels. Yeah, the nutrient density score was at an 85%. So that put me at an eight and a half. I think you were about in that same score point. Yep, eight and a half. Eight and a half, perfect. So we can agree on that. Um, I mentioned earlier that it did contain organic fertilizers. It actually has a fertilizer analysis on the bag. And what was that analysis, Chris? Uh, it's a 1% nitrogen, 0.5% uh, phosphorus, and a 0.5% uh, potassium analysis with 2% calcium and 0.4% magnesium. Fantastic, so those were, there were additional nutrients there and they claim those um, on the bag. That nutrition translated straight into will it grow? And this, this soil uh, was a really good, strong performer in terms of will it grow? We've got great color, great overall plant health here at the seven week um, point. We're just going into the reproductive phase and flowering and the stem strength and thickness um, on this Cherokee purple tomatoes, just phenomenal. We also have a really good quality lettuce. I scored this as a nine for Will It Grow. This has been one of our, our top performers for lettuce and tomato do, doing these grow outs. Yeah, certainly a top performer for me as well. I scored this one as a nine. Um, yeah, just really big, bulky, you know, thick um, stock. Um, the leaves are really dark green. Um, reproductive wise, just everything looks really good with this, um, this tomato plant. Um, lettuce looks phenomenal. So yeah, I, uh, I mirror Matt's um, score on this one with a, a nine for will it grow. Got awesome. Yeah, we agreed on our scores on this one and that led to a relatively high overall rating of seven and a half for this Roots Organics Lush uh, soil. Um, from a best use perspective, um, I think it's ready to be planted in and do a, do a complete grow out in. So yeah, best use for me was um, kind of mirroring what Matt said as well on, on best use. 
use, you know, just a, a full grow out, whether it's a, a potted plant um, or in a raised bed uh, environment. Yeah, and the only other note I, I saw as I glanced down here is this would be great for a container garden um, for really small spaces. Well, hopefully you learned something today about this Roots Organic Lush uh, bagged soil. If you appreciated this content, please hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll look forward to talking to you again soon in the lab.